Hi, this is Brian Kim, and I'd like to clarify to you how I'm able to perform double chop for the denser lenses. If you look at my previous videos, the double chop maneuver is when you place the chopper out to the level of the equator in typical horizontal chopping fashion, but then you place the FACO tip deep into the epinuclear material subincisionally at the level of the equator. You bring both instruments to the middle and you fracture the lens. However, with denser lenses, you can't go deep, and as a result, with the FACO tip, you want to place it on the surface of the lens because you can't go deep. And then with diagonal vector forces, you're able to fracture the lens just the same. And so when you see the diagonal vector forces, there's no significant zonular stress. Um, all the forces are centripetal. And because you're bringing the forces to the middle, this is a very safe and stable technique and so you'll see after I move the epinuclear material on the surface of the lens, place a chopper out to the equator, the FACO tip is going on the surface of the lens and I'm bearing it into that lens material. As I bring both instruments to the center, I will then fracture the lens. Please appreciate there's no tilting or torsioning of the lens while I do this maneuver. I'm holding that lens on either side by the chopper and the FACO tip and as they bring both instruments to the middle you'll see the whitening of the lens fibers just anterior to the FACO tip and that again shows that mechanical forces are being used to fracture that lens and after I fracture the lens you'll apply lateral separation to divide the lens so as you can see here again FACO tip is on the surface of the lens but it's sub-incisional as I bring both instruments together in the middle. You see the whitening of the lens and the lens is fractured. Again, please, pre please appreciate that the vector forces are centripetal. As a result, there is not significant zonular stress. This is a Alcon balance tip. This is a typical position of the, the tip because it's really a sculpting tip. But I'm actually going to flip it upside down. You can see it's a 45 degree tip and you can see there's a little bit of a curvature to the tip and it's a little bit pointy. So if the lens material is on the top of this picture, that's where I'm going to position the FACO tip. So if this is the lens is on the left side, I'm able to use that curvature to hold it and support the lens, but also impale the lens with that tip with the, the double chop technique for these denser lenses. And you wanna take advantage of that pointiness to that tip. So again, you can see the whitening of the lens fibers just anterior to the FACO tip as I'm getting that uh, FACO tip in position for the double chop maneuver. As I bring both instruments to the center, you can see that whitening of the fibers is increasing. Again, this is all mechanical, no FACO or vacuum is applied, and then the lens is fractured. And because of that curvature to the tip and because of the pointedness of the tip, you're, really, you're able to do that. This is a cross chop maneuver where I placed a chopper out to the contralateral equator, bring it to the center to fracture that lens. That FACO tip is supporting the lens so that it doesn't move as I'm able, uh, uh, applying the, the, the forces to chop the lens by bringing the chopper centrally. Again, you want to place the tip upside down. You want to make sure that tip is holding that uh, lens material on the surface of the lens, apply diagonal vector forces, and you should be able to divide denser lenses for your double chop technique. Thank you for your attention.